It's Monday. We're going to solve the Monday puzzle. Here it is. Monday New York Times Crossword Puzzle. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. You ready? They don't talk. All right. Bye. I don't know. Let's get started. Here we go. Uh, the puzzle. Parishioners. Oh, do you know any of these? Um, that don't look like Take a look. Anything. By the way, in case you are new to the channel, this is Solve with Steve, but today it's Solve with Steve and Ari. I'm Steve. This guy is Ari. He's, uh, how old are you, Ari? Ten. Ten. You think ten will be in the puzzle today? Mm hmm. I don't know. Ah, so Ari's doing this one. He knows the L is UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. You know any uh, others uh, around there? Maybe some crossings? Do you know uh, the singer Reading? He's sitting on the dock of the bay. Okay, he's in 22 across, but you're over there. Oh, 2, 4, 6, 8 are the evens. So Ari's looking at the, at the clues, seeing which mm -hmm. ones he knows. Uh, I think you know uh, 32 down. Football distances, the abbreviation. Wait. What do they measure What in football? Oh, oh, oh Ari's jumping around. He's jumping out. Look at this guy. Okay, man. this is. What did you find? Yeah. Oh, the last word in the twelve days of Christmas. I'm assuming it. Shall we sing? Ready? And a partridge in a pear tree. All right. That's the only part I know. All right. So yeah. So some people, when they saw, like to go and find crossings. Ari is a fan of scanning the clues for ones that he knows, and you know everybody's got their own style. So this is what what he's doing. All right. You gotta talk out loud though, because we're, okay. we're we're actually this is a you know, this is a crossword video, so it yeah. comes with it comes with sound. So you want to talk about what you're doing? No. Any of the others? Do you know? Oh, do you know forty eight down? Uh. Video game with falling blocks. Oh. It's a classic. It started when I was already a teenager, but it's a classic. Oops. Yeah, you got to go down. There you go. Video game with falling blocks. That's the Tetris theme song. That's like the second verse. How's the start? It goes. No, that's Hungarian dances. How's the Tetris theme song go? Oh, man. Railroad property in Monopoly. There's five, four of them. Which one? Well, what are they? Reading Railroad. Reading Railroad. Pennsylvania Railroad. Pennsylvania Railroad. Short Line. Short Line. Where's the line? B&O Railroad. B&O Railroad. So you know which one fits in five letters. Short. Short, but you need the line. So unless it's a, it's like a, maybe there's like some rebus there, but B and O fits in five letters because you say the word and. They do that sometimes. B and O. By the way, uh, Joe Marcus Bando. is the constructor today. So Bando. No, it's not Bando. It's B and O. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to take over a little bit. Okay. okay. Uh, let's, just, let's get some, uh, some crossings. One over half of all Super Bowl MVPs. For sure. Do you know which player is very often the, the most valuable player in the Super Bowl? Well, when they make it. When well, well, out of the Super Bowl, they pick one player and they say, "You are the MVP." Of the Super Bowl, yeah. Of the Super Bowl, and so so, it's uh, it's a short letter, it's a short word, uh, it's an abbreviation that describes a lot of football players who are really good. So probably I think uh, Tom Brady probably won this. I think Eli Manning won this. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year does not fit in three letters and have B as the second letter. Patrick Mahomes, I'm pretty sure, was Super Bowl MVP when they won it. Um, Russell Wilson was probably Super Bowl MVP. You know what I've named all of those people. What position do they play? Oh, QBs. QBs, yeah, QBs. Really? Why? Why? Because they touch the ball on every play and often are the most important player on their team. Not every play. They touch the ball on nearly every play. Actually, less than half. Most some if really sometimes. How do you figure? If all the teams get an equal number of plays, yeah, it's going equal number of points. They yeah. touch it less than half. I'm talking about the but on. A, a, a quarterback of every offensive play that's not a punt or a field goal, the oh. quarterback touches the ball. You don't count when the quarterback's not on the field. I'm saying of the offensive plays. All right, anyway. Uh, Dubai's country. You know what country Dubai is in? On a fake punt, the quarterback doesn't touch it. On a fake punt or a real punt, the quarterback doesn't touch it. But a fake punt... Uh, Who touches the ball on every play? Someone. Someone. The ref. The ref, well, to spot the ball, one of the officials will, yes. But, all right, Dubai's country. If you know which player touches, which offensive player touches the ball on every play, write it in the comments. And oh, then, the and then I will show it to Ari and he'll learn. Oh, the center. Very good. Thanks for writing in the comments. Appreciate that. All right, uh, back to the puzzle. We're taking a long time. Here we go. Uh, we got to get you to bed, man. It's actually it's Sunday night when we do this. But, you know. All right, here we go. What country is Dubai in? I don't know. It's the United Arab Emirates. So, for shortness, uh, UAE. Uh, Blank Arbor, Michigan. Do you know the city what? that is the home of University of Michigan? 
It is called Ann Arbor, is the name of the city. Intelligence. Nothing? I don't know. Nothing? Okay. How about Great Plains Tribe? This is Cross Rodiz. I mean, it's a real word, I don't but it shows know. up a lot in Cross Rodiz. It's the Oto. Why am I not surprised that's in crosswords a lot? Because it has a lot of vowels. All right, actress. Here, this is another person that's in crosswords a lot. So if you like to do yeah, crosswords, you gotta learn. Her name is Iona Sky, and it's spelled that way. And she's in a lot of course, crosswords. All right, financial statement issued every three months. You know this one? Quarantine. No. Quar so it's every three months. In uh, how many of those are in a year? Four. So there's a hint right there, based on on the letters that are there. It happens four times a year. Not quad, not quad, but it's called a quarterly report. Quarterly. Uh. Okay. So if you're in business, you file a financial statement every three months for the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth quarter of the of the year. All right. Let's go. A vote of support. <laughs> yay! As, did you say yay? Yeah. Okay. Um, spell that way. That's how you spell it when there's a vote. Is yay and nay. Yay is Y E A. Uh, that's how you spell it as a vote. When you're cheering, it's Y A Y. But uh, all right, you know this guy. Oh, you know Stan Lee? No. That's his name. He's a comic artist. And, yeah. All right. Important agent in bread dough and beer fermentation. I think you know this. You ever make bread? Got to put this in, or the bread won't rise. Yeah. Yeah. These. You know, you can say it out loud. Yeast. That, that, that might be uh, for the for the viewing public to hear you. All right. Do you know the I actress? Know. Uh, she was no. no. She, she also shows up in Crossroads a lot because of her vowels. Her name two, is her name is Gina Davis. Two e's in a row. Two e's in a row. Yep. Super cool. I know. What do you neat. say? Yeah, that's neat. All right. Passes into law. Do you know that one? Congress uh, might. Uh, okay. Here we go. They Pre vote to have it happen. They vote to have it happen. Yeah. This is there's a president does not veto it. President does not veto it. President signs it. Right. Okay. So a percussive dance style. T blank P. Tap. Tap dance, yeah. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. You're rubbing your eyes. You ready for sleep? No. We can stop this. No. I, I can do it without you. I'll be sad. But if you need if you need your sleep, okay. Scannable black and white square or a hint to those. Hmm. We have a revealer already. Do you know I it? I feel like this is something involving chess or checkers. Those do have black and white squares, so it could be chess or checkers. I don't know if those are scannable. So I uh, maybe we'll come back. QR code does fit. Is that the revealer? Is that a hint to 1734 to 50? Is this QR code? Is it 57 across there? I don't know. Oh, why would they call it QR code? Yeah, let's see. Let's get some of the others. Uh, you might be onto something there. All right, 20 sided game piece in die. Dungeon. A die, yeah, 20 sided die. D20. D20. You play You know that? No. How do you know? You totally said that. Do you do, do Dungeons and Dragons? No, no, magic. It's a code game. Oh, then like, magic. Sometimes uses d20. Magic uses d20s too. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I, was like, I didn't think you played d and d. All right, Guinness Book suffix. Mm -hmm. What's in the Guinness Book? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the Guinness Rec Book is? World record. world record. So what word? What suffix might they put on a lot of words if it's a world record? Also, what's a suffix? It's e s blank. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Really? Right, fastest, highest, oh. smartest, loudest, whatever adjective Ist. you put est, yeah, ariest. All right, best, best, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not really a suffix, but it does end with est. All right, ice cream amounts. Quart. Uh, quartz. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then six lines in a sonnet. You, do you know this one? No. It's called it's called a sestet. Like if there's six musicians, a group of six is a sextet. But in poetry, a group of six lines is called a sestet. I'm not sure why that's different. Hey, if you know why that's different, comment. All right, let's go. Let's get moving here. I, I meant right. to put an e there. You meant to put an e there. Put an e there. That's not an e. That's an e. Very good. All right. Yeah. Enacts when the Congress passes a law, they enact or the, the okay. Yeah. Some are office workers. You know what this is, people. Let's uh, let's move toward the top. It's a lot. It's usually easier. Here's a tip for everybody. It's usually easier when you know the start of the word than when you know the end of the word. So we happen to get started on the bottom, but I'm going to go back up to the top. Um, let's see. Oh, whoops. Do you know this one? Preliminary oh. tournament stage? No. no. Okay. Well, I would we'll say come. group stage. But... Group stage, yeah. Like, like World Cup always starts with the group stage L. and they do a round robin. But that L, plus I don't think that's enough. Uh, too many letters for group stage. All right. 
Um, I, I would also have said round of 16. Round of 16, if it's a 16-team tournament, that would begin with the round of 16. But again, with the L. All right, how about before in poetry? You know what word they use in poetry that means before? Um, also in crosswords. I don't know if they actually use it in poetry. Maybe. What? It's ear. It means like before. Like ear long, something, something will happen. It just sounds very, very poetic. Parishioner's bench. What? You know what? So parishioner means people who go to church. They go in the parish, in the Catholic church. Ugh. Like the parish is like where you, you like they divide the, the, the country up into parishes. It's like a region and you're supposed to go to the church in your parish. Did I get that right? Uh, but anyway, so when you're a parishioner, you're in church and you sit in these long benches and they're called pews. Uh, that's what that means. Uh, all right. What to do if the shoe fits? What? Yeah. Hey, didn't you just try on new shoes? No. You totally did. You tried on I new. I did not. You just tried on new sneakers, and now you're hiding because I don't know why he's hiding. You just they tried got, on new sneakers. Oh. You want to go? You want to show the world your new sneakers? No. Okay. Well, then don't. All right. Shoots lava. Here we go. Two down. Shoots lava. Um, a lava fall. A lava fall. Yeah, but that doesn't fit this this uh, pattern here. Uh oh. What shoots lava? Volcano. Volcano. What do volcanoes do? Oh no, the volcano's going explode. to explode. Explode. There's another word that's er. Yeah, erupt. But shoots lava, so it's yeah. So can I ask when you get the word instead of just typing it in, say it out loud? I think the viewing public would like that a lot. Why isn't the school? And... It's not a touch screen, my boy. Okay. Do you know the name of Captain Ahab's ship in Moby Dick? No. Have you read Moby Dick? No. Yeah, you don't like reading books, so. He does like reading books, but not Moby Dick, apparently. All right, it's called. I've the, just never had the, the chance. The Pequod. You've never had the chance to read Moby Dick. You might like it. Can you uh, spring, spring forward. It is about daylight savings time. Mm. Hey, look who's twenty-two across. Look who's twenty-two across. What? What are you doing? Uh. Dude, what are you doing? Moving your hand. Okay, don't. Uh, we're doing the cross right here. Okay, who? Who's? Look who's still twenty-two across. Yeah, it's, it's, it's your friend. It's Otis. You gotta react, man. We're trying to do this as a team. Okay. You gotta be on a team with me. All right. All right. Here we go. A commotion is an uproar. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of commotion. All right. Now preliminary round tournament stage. Qualifiers. Now qualifiers. I don't think that fits. But quali qualification. Qualification. Oops. Qualification. Qualification doesn't fit. You notice the revealer. QR code. QR code. Well, let's just keep it qual of something and see what we get. Prima Donna's chance to shine. You know what the Prima Donna is? Prima Donna is like the star singer in an opera company, and she sings an uh. aria. Oh, sole mia. Okay. Variety show of skits and songs. You know that one? Is a review, but it's spelled that mm -hmm. way. Spanish by? Adios. Adios. There There's we go. There's many. There's more than one. Okay. Poison blank. A plant. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Now we're here. French ascent. Do you know what ascent means? No. It means saying yes. Do you know how to say yes in French? Oui. Very good. Maurice, who wrote Where the Wild Things Are. Do you know that? Do you remember that book? Yeah. But uh, it's a guy named Maurice Sendak. Or Maurice, I think he pronounced it. Sendak. Any ideas now? The preliminary tournament stage? Qualifinary. Qualifinary? Qualifinary? No. No, that doesn't seem like a word. All right. Campus figure with a list. You know what this is? If you go to college and you make good grades, you get earn a spot on the dean's list. We didn't have a dean's list because we had the president's honor roll. It was the same idea, but the, apparently crossroads have the dean's list. I don't remember that. Okay. All right. Sci-fi or romance? A movie. Those could be movies, but that doesn't fit. But those are styles of movie or style of book. It's a genre. genre. Yeah, you do know that one. Okay. Oh, it's qualifying. Qualifying what? Round. Qualifying round. Any idea how that fits with the regular? Qualifying ground. Qualifying. There's a Y in there. Qualifying. They all start right. with the, the first one starts with a Q, second one starts with an R. Aha! He's got it! Right? QR codes, a qualifying round, and then over here, quarterly report. I wonder code. what the other two are going to be. Okay. So and then wait a code. minute. Wait, yeah, go ahead. The, where's the other two? Where's the other? You want to go to them? Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Where are they? Woman temporarily serving as monarch. Oops, oh, you were just there. Okay, that and that. Yeah, so it's the long ones. It's usually the long crosses. All right, all right, moving around through the queue. Here you go. Woman temporarily serving as monarch is putting in a queue. We don't know where the R is going to be, but definitely got a queue there. And snake oil salesman's offering is queue something. All right, 
I like it. Let's uh, let's work with that. You don't know where the R is. Do you know who played Zorba in Zorba the Greek? No, that's not the Zorba the Greek. It's the Anvil Chorus. Um, Okay, anyway, um, a lawyer's title. Do you know what a lawyer can write at the end of their name? ESQ. ESQ means Esquire. I don't know why. What does that mean? It means you're a lawyer. I don't know. Honey, I blank the kids. What? I don't know. Wait, why did I say quack? His name was Anthony Quinn. Why did I type quack? His name was Anthony Quinn. Did you write quack? I didn't write quack. Did I write quack? <laughs> yes. I, his name is not Anthony Quack. It's Anthony Quinn. All right. Woman Tempera. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So, did you, honey, I, honey, I shrank the kids. Maybe it's honey, I shrunk the kids. I'm not sure. What? It's a movie. This guy is a scientist, and he accidentally has invents the shrink ray, and he accidentally shrinks the kids. Wow, we do. Did you invent the big, the glow? Well, that was the whole movie. Was he had to like turn it into reverse, and you don't know what's gonna happen. Wait a minute, I do know what's gonna happen. Yeah, what's gonna happen? He unshrinks the kids. He unshrinks the kids, and then they make a uh, the the sequel. Honey, I blew up the kids. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's the sequel. Well, am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah. All right, cause for produce rec- recall. Why would they recall produce? Uh, bad like, product management. Bad product management. What if it has a bacteria? Do you know any bacteria that are bad for you that has E at the beginning and I at the end? Many. You ever hear? You ever hear of E. coli? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. All right, pal. What's your pal? Four letters starts with ch. Your chum. Not a word we all use too often, but you have a chum named. Oh, yeah. All right. Here you go. Cookie in cookies and cream. Really? What's a crossword? They don't favorite? use other stuff than Oreos. Well, they can, but the original cookies and cream was actually Oreo brand cookies and cream. You can make it with other ones, but uh, that's, that's the original. That's the one. crossword's favorite. It cookie. is crossword's favorite cookie, without a doubt. That's right. A disorderly Wait, bunch. Three vowels. Uh huh. A disorderly bunch is a. I don't know. What if they're angry? And they're ah! gonna. It's a mob. It's an angry mob. Yes. Okay. Colorful symbols of hope and happiness. What? I don't know. I think I know a woman temporarily serving as monarch. I think queen. I know queen something. And we know what this letter is. Queen R. Queen R. Yes. Okay. And now a coin of Denmark. Do you know what they use for money in Denmark? No. It's, it's called the krona. How many currencies are there exactly? Oh gosh, I don't know. Hundreds probably. Maybe 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 ten. Maybe less than hundred. Cause I don't know. Probably maybe ten. Maybe tens. Not oh. like okay. All right. What do we have here? Let's. Oh, now do you know this one? Intelligence. What letter? Can you sense. Go yeah, sense. Put the S there. There you go. All right. Ah, uh, oh, colorful symbols of hopes and happiness. What color could we fit in the beginning of this? Blue. Blue, yeah. Remember, this has to be a U or an A. So it's honey, I shrunk the kids. I wasn't there for the shiny. I shrunk or shrank. Okay. Move just a little. You can push me, but I won't move even a little. Yes, you will no. budge. You budge. I will not budge. You budge. I will not budge, but I type budge. See, I will not budge. You budged while I'm not budging. Thing. I'm here in my box. I'm not budging. I'm not budging. You're moving. I'm still stronger than you. You're still moving. You're still, yeah. All right. To swindle is to... Diff something. Diff something, yes. Filipino or Laotian? I don't know. You know where Philippines and Laos, Laos are? Uh, islands. They are not. Well, Philippines is islands. Laos is on the mainland. Uh, All, right. All right. Well, we'll come back to that. Story that spans generations. Uh, I don't know. No? Okay. Swelling reducers for sprains? I don't know. It's got to be ice something. Ice packs or ice bags. I think it looks like ice bags. All right, what do we have here? Lawyers, organizations. You know what? All lawyers in the U.S. belong to this organization. Really? Yep. What? It's the American Bar Association. I, maybe you don't have to, but I think in order to practice law, you have to be a member. I'm not sure if that's the rule. You have to be admitted to the bar. I'm not sure. All right. A story that spans generations is a saga. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, Philippine or Laotian? What Asian. letter? Asian. Yeah, they're both in Asia. All right. Swindle. I'm still not budging. To swindle is to... Well, you know what letter this is next to the Q? Defraud. Defraud, yeah. Snake oil. Quacker. Self. Quacker. 
quack or something. Okay. All right, got hitched in Vegas. You know what got hitched means? No. It means they got married. But a lot of people will run away to Las Vegas to get married because then the rules, it's like really easy. You can just like, you don't need to plan. You just you drive off to Las Vegas and you get married. It's called eloping. And so in the past tense, is eloped. All right. Football distances. Yeeds. Yards, yes. I said yeeds. Yes, and I'm saying yards. The Gulf of Blank are waters off the coast of Yemen. Do you know this one? No. It's the Gulf of Aden. Not your cousin, Aiden. Uh, spelled differently, but that's that's what it's called. Uh, pet name for Jose. Huh? Jose is a very common Spanish first name. And very often the nickname for Jose is, is Pepe. Why? I'm not quite sure. But it is. <laughs> Why is Bill a nickname for William? Why is Bob a nickname for Robert? Well, Robert can... Wait. Well... Does anybody know why Bob is nicknamed for Robert and Bill for William? All right, and while you're at it, do you know why Pepe for Jose? I don't know. All right, Does figure it on a college transcript. Uh, do you know what that is? Um, you know what a college transcript is? It lists all the courses you've taken and, and your grade in every course. I know that. And then, so the figure is a number that they'll they'll take. They'll something calculate. PA. Yeah. Something PA. Yes, very but good. Isn't there like eighty questions or something? No, no, it's not a test. It's not a test. But oh, GPA. GPA, yeah, is your, your, your grade point average. Ill-advised maneuver. Do you know this one? Running around on a playground that's made of something. Running around on a playground that's made out of your off-screen. Slippery your off screen. stuff. There you go. Running around on a playground made of slippery stuff is an ill-advised well, maneuver, but that's not the answer here. All right. Olympic figure skating champion Lipinski. She's from like the 1990s. You know her? It's not Jira Lipinski. Her name is Tara Lipinski. Um, 1990s, I think. All right. Uh, debtor's note. If you uh, are in debt, what might you write to someone? I'm in debt. Right. Or you could say, I owe you. Get it? Like, I owe you $5. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. An ID with two hyphens. Know this? It's a number that everybody in America has. And it's three digits and then a hyphen, and then two digits and then a hyphen, and then four digits. Is your social security number SSN shows up a lot in crosswords? Don't tell people. This that. one has all consonants. This one has all vowels, and they're both very crossword friendly. Don't tell people your social security number. There you go. Public service announcement. Oh, the PSA also shows up in crosswords. Public service announcement from Ari. Or your, or Ari also shows up in crosswords. Or your IP address. Or your IP address. IPA for India Pale Ale often shows up in crosswords, but IP address doesn't. All right. Do you know this TV show Blank Lasso? Uh, kinda. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it. You've seen it? You've seen the show? No, I've seen the. An you see people talk about it? Yeah, an ad for it, yeah. On Hulu ad. It's about a, a college football coach who goes to England. Ted Lasso. And, Ted Lasso, yeah, very good. All right. Unexpected plot development. Oh, I didn't see that coming. It was a twist. A twist, very Why good. Why does it even happen in every cooking show? Every cooking show has a twist. A rose. A rose has got out of bed, very good. All right. Ill advised maneuver is a wrong. Wrong. Move. Yeah, wrong move is an ill-advised maneuver. All right, how about this? Put into power. Give power. Yes. Give you power. You give me power, but how do we put someone into power? Let's say we want somebody to be in charge of the country, and we want this person to be in power. What do we do? Vote. Well, yes, and then what do we do to get them in power? We... That give, fits this. That fits we this. give them power. When you vote for someone, if enough people vote for someone, that person gets what? Elected. Yes, you got to... I want you to talk. Elect. Don't just press the button. All right. I, now, I of course, we have I, the Electoral College, so we don't directly um, elect the president, uh, but that's another I story. I figured that out from Quack Remedy. figured that from Quack Remedy. Oh, okay. Wonderland Visitor. Alice. Alice. There you go. Um, opposite of a weather to a sailor. A weather is in the direction where the wind is coming from. The other side is called a lee. Uh, also shows up in crosswords a lot because three vowels. Three vowels. All right. Summer office workers. These are usually college students who then, when they're not in taking classes in the summer, they get a job for a couple months at a company, and they're called summer interns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Two more. The beginning phase is the onset. Onset. Very can good. I, can I tape it in? And the last one, pep, or woman temporarily serving as monarch. Eh. Yeah, the queen regent. All right, well done. Should we admire our puzzle? Admire your puzzle. All right, so as Ari uh, told everybody, he figured it out. The revealer QR code, because the theme is that every theme was a two-word, every theme entry was a two-word phrase beginning with the letters... 
Q and R. Q and R. So we have qualifying round. There's the Q. There's the R. A quack remedy. You know what a quack is? It's something not true. It's like, it's usually it's like a doctor that's not really a doctor. Like you pretend to be a quack doctor. Quack. You're a quack. This person doesn't know what they're doing. How'd they graduate med school? What a quack. They didn't graduate med school. Maybe they didn't graduate med school. That, that would explain why they're a quack, yes. Um, so a quack remedy, snake oil. It's not literally snake oil, but that's like the phrase they use when people are selling the in, in a bottle. They're like, oh, this is an amazing thing. Uh, it's a quack remedy. Uh, the queen regent. Uh, she is temporarily serving as monarch. She's not like the real queen, but she has to be the queen. Um... I think it's like when the when the, the the heir to the throne, the rightful heir, is too young, and so they need somebody who's an adult to be the the, the king or queen until the, the, the heir is old enough. I think that's how regents work. I'm not quite sure how that works. Can, it, can or is, is Camilla is she a queen regent? I'm not sure. Hey, to write in the in, in the uh, in the comments if you know. It's, I'm not big on the the British royal family, but I know Charles is the king right now, and Camilla is something. It's, it's queen. Oh, she's queen consort. She's not queen regent. She's queen consort. I knew she was there's queen something. I bet she's queen consort. Yeah, there's all kinds of rules there. I don't know. I mean, we don't live in a monarchy here. But by the way, we live in the USA. Um, if you haven't guessed from the accent and from we're talking about football uh, with QBs and yards, so this is a very US friendly. But queen regent. Okay. And finally, quarterly report. Every three months is quarterly. All right. Anything else? Anything you wanted to ask about, Ari? No. No. Are we gonna Are we gonna uh, sign off then? Sure. But we first we should tell everybody they should. Oh, like, they should wave to us. Like. They should like the video and they should also subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell on the subscribe button. There you go, hit the bell on the subscribe button. But if you're already a subscriber, don't press that button, right? Yeah. Because then what would happen? Didn't they unsubscribe? No, then you have to you have to click on subscribe. Oh, it gives you a, a, a little warning before you do that? Yeah. Oh, whew, what a relief. Wouldn't you? That'd be horrible. We don't do that. Um, but you can comment if you have something to say. Yeah. Also, 50 yes. likes in one week for me to actually try pot roast. 50 likes. Well, you already agreed you would try pot yeah. roast. I just have to make it because I still haven't gotten the recipe from Grandma. So what, many, what many, we weeks ago, many weeks ago, many weeks ago, pot roast was. So if you don't know, pot roast was in the in the video in the crossword, and Ari agreed he would try uh, pot roast. But I have to make it. I have to cook it. And I, I talked to my mom, and eh, this and that keeps happening. So I keep never getting the. We also Oreo O's was in the same crossword, and we yeah, have a box of Oreo O's those. hiding somewhere in the house that Ari doesn't know where. I'm but if he eats the pot roast, he also which he agreed. You, you already agreed you're going to eat the pot roast. Yeah. So what do we? What do I eat? And if we have. 50 likes. 50 likes. I don't know what was in this puzzle that has food. Let's Click look. Out. Let's see. What's in the puzzle? Any food in here? You have to eat. You have to take a quack remedy. No. You have to eat E. coli. No. You have to eat bluebirds. No. You have to eat something made with yeast. I do that every you day. You do that every day. This kid loves his carbs. Everyone uh, does that every day. Everyone does that every day. Not everyone. Some people don't eat bread. Right, especially if you have uh, a celiac disease, your your uh, 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 gluten uh, gives you trouble. Let's see. What what is there any other food? No. Uh huh. Can I search up a random? Can I search up random food on Google? Mm, no, nah, I think I'm not sure where that might lead us. So I'm gonna say no. So Sorry. Um, how about that? Thirty-seven down. Yay! All right, so 50 likes. In one week. In one week from today. So we will look at this. If we get 50 likes in the first seven days uh, after this is posted, uh, we will get some O-R-E-O, a Crossroads' favorite uh, cookie. And I will eat one and Ari will eat one when we do the next Why video. Why can't we just get a pack and then eat them for the next video? Yeah, well, you eat a whole, oh. a whole pack in one video? That's too much. All right. I probably could. All right, enough's enough. we got to get you to bed. Bye. 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 Where is it here?